so, so good of you to join me. Um, I've made a few errors in trying to be creative. So we'll just stick to the straight old meat and potatoes presentation of these stories of our ancestors. We'll begin today with this. <clears throat> this be um, a close relation to me in so much as <clears throat> there is a uh, <coughs> discussion here of my father and my mother and their parents. Uh, Laura Turand is mentioned. She was my father's mother's older sister whom died at a very early age. Apparently a beautiful little blonde blue-eyed girl, a French girl, a French Indian speak. Uh, here we see furthermore that Ducharme had red hair. He is a different gentleman on this chart. Not much is said of my mother's mother, whom is or was one of uh, the children of those Ukrainians settled there by the by the Dominion land speculators at the turn of the century. Her father listed here as George Fiddler died in the mid to late 1970s, albeit we know not where or when precisely. Hence me saith that he died free. Thank God for him. His younger sister, Virginie Mary Fiddler, did Fiddler, married a man named Leslie Ives of England, uh, where I'll be born my aunt, I reckon, uh, Clara Beatrice Ives of Weyburn, Saskatchewan. Her the wife of Kenneth Bruce, or Ken Turand, whom died 2010, October 1, a Friday age 69, passing of cancer. Bless his soul. I remember Uncle Ken. Him was the son of Raymond Frederick Turand, born 1910. His wife was Opal Marie Harrison, born 1915 at St. Front. St. Front, Saskatchewan, was a francophone settlement closely related with the Batoche Duck Lake Turon Scully Matias Exovides but they didn't suffer as much after the conquest as did those Exovide and their ancestors. The train line, for one thing, had been built rather than through the French-speaking held lands along the river, the Saint, uh, the, the Saskatchewan River. There, uh, rather, it went uh, in a more linear 
direction from uh, Prince Albert to say Cudworth, Saskatchewan and or to Humboldt, Saskatchewan according to the square grid pattern um, still in use today. Raymond and Opal Marie were married Cooley, Saskatchewan in 1961. We see here that Opal Marie's mother was a woman named Phoebe Anna Betsy Jane Newberry, the daughter of Julia Adele Adeline McFadden. Julie Adeline McFadden was the wife of George Anson Newberry, whose brother James Newberry had married a black African woman. They don't say where or when so we're no doubt talking about um, either a descendant of a free slave who took residence in Canada or one who came into Canada thereafter. The Newberries are mentioned to be descended of Thomas Spencer Newberry and Betsy Harkness Warriner. Warriner. But, um, yeah, not much be said more of them here. We see here that uh, the parents of George Fiddler and his sister Virginia, Virginie Mar Mary Fiddler, did Fiddler, were the children of John Fiddler, did Fiddler, 1883 to 1916, and a woman named Mathilde Vandel, did Vandale. 1881 to 1958. Um, her husband that my mother knew was a man named Louis H. Grant, and he had been born 1875 March 22nd and died 1958 February 28th. I don't believe him be Metis, more likely a man whom came into the land to settle thereafter. I have much to say about the settlement of peoples upon the stolen land, having done some research into the matter, but we won't talk about that now. Mathilde Vandel was the daughter of Alphonsine Henry and Antoine Vandel, married 1872, January 17th. The, um, mother of Eleanor Juliet Turand, my grandmother, and her sister Laura Turon, bless her soul, was Rosalind Rosie Rosalie Bruno, eighteen eighty five to nineteen fifty seven. I never met her that I recollect. No, I wouldn't me be born sixty one. Her husband be Jean Amable or Patrick Adam Turand, eighteen eighty five to 1962. So neither of these be to any great degree the children of resistance activists in so much as they're not mentioned here as such. 
The parents of uh, Patrick Adam Turand are said to be Jean-Marie Turand, the son of Jacques Turand and Marie Corchine. The wife of Jean-Marie Turand, Marie Roy, the daughter of Ursula Jean Venn and Marcel Comtois Roy. Now, Jacques Turand, the husband of Marie Corchine, was the brother of the Honorable Jean-Baptiste Turand the husband of Angelique Delorme. The daughter of Bridget Plouffe de Villebrun and Joseph Enod de Delorme, a Canadian uh, voyager perhaps. Those be ancestors to me, yes. Also mentioned here are the parents of Rosalie Bruno, the daughter of Marie Carrier, 1864-1920, buried at Patoche, and her husband, Napoleon Joseph Bruno, 1859-1934, and I've been told stories of Grandpa Napoleon. Him, the son of Thomas Stanislaus Bruno and Adelaide Landry, The grandfather would be Francois Jacques Bruno, the son of Antoine Bruno and a Metis Cree woman. Antoine Bruno here, a Northwest Voyage, a Northwest Company voyageur, but not the same Antoine Bruno involved in the tragic love tale of Dumont and Josephette Sarcy. The interesting thing to note here of this Antoine Bruno Northwest Company Voyageur is that his younger brother Pierre Bruno of Chambly, Lower Canada was married to a woman named Marianne Robitaille, a Quebecois girl, and their daughter Julie Bruno was the wife of Lee Patriot, Louis Joseph Papineau. And, well, he did us no great favor, which maybe we'll get into one day. The Turand ancestor listed on this side of the page being the father of Jacques Turand and Honorable Jean-Baptiste Turand is Joseph Patrice Turand, the husband of Joseph et Paul Lavouve Turand, but also the husband of Rosalie Saguin de Laderoot, the sister of Marguerite Laderoot, a second wife to Emmanuel Beaugrand de Champagne, my direct ancestor, whom had been first married to Marguerite Larocque, a woman of the Blackfoot Confederacy. Typhoid is what Francois Jacques Bruno perished of, and his sweet wife Marguerite Harrison, she died within a few hours after Francois, both of them much loved by the people of Red River, and a marker there shared of with them betwixt. Vivial and his wife. So there is pretty much a 
We'll mention here that the uh, parents of Josephette Paul Le Vouf Turand, the mother of Lise Septetois Turand, to the seven stars whom Riel had in a vision around his head, which brought much devastation onto that family. Um, Le Vouf Turand's mother was Angelique Godin, the daughter of Suzanne Sue and Pierre Godin. And her father was Jean-Baptiste Paul, the son of Joseph Paul and Louise Cree. So she was, yes, very strongly a, a, a Red River Metis woman. Thank you for sharing this chart with me. <clears throat> There's not much to this page. See here, then uh, Louis Granch is written Louis Grassic. I believe my mother and her siblings grew up calling the man Granch, but my thanks me have seen his name written as Grassic, and so it be writ here. There is mention here of Charlotte Pelletier being first the wife of Andre Maquette. Uh, second, the wife of Le Bel Antoine Azur, the son of Joseph Hazur and Mani Icha Lizette. Charlotte Pelletier is uh, the daughter of an Assiniboine Nakota Stony Sato woman, so we don't really know which, Marguerite Assinabavan. Mentioned the wife of Antoine Matches Vandel, her name Isabel Beauchamp, the daughter of Marie Parenteau, the sister of Pierre Perrich Parenteau and Exovide, perhaps the greatest marksman amongst those resistance activists active, the, the Sous Branch. Their parents were Joseph Victor Parenteau and Suzanne Chris. There is a, a lot of interrelation between the tribes themselves. It's, it's really very beautiful whom we are as a nation of persons. Um, all of us such fine wine each bottle distinct and unique, a flavor of its own. You won't say that about anybody else. The commonness of our political ancestors so here said as Honorable Jean-Baptiste Touron, the son of Joseph Petrus Touron and Rosalie Laderoot, be but just one of them. You know, why weren't we educated about these people in school growing up? What are we telling our young of whom they are in so much as whom our ancestors were. Not much to say about this page. Um, here we are reassured that 
Marguerite Leroc of the Blackfoot Confederation, who married Emmanuel Beaugrand de Champagne, was sponsored by Antoine Leroc and Marguerite Nadeau in that union. These are not her parents. They witnessed her baptism. Uh, hence, she was given a Christian name, i.e. Marguerite. So those are probably um, Antoine Laroque and Marguerite Nadeau, either full-blood Blackfoot whom were Christianized, or Metis. And they could even be Metis whom were accompanying whomsoever the religious authority was that baptized this young woman as Marguerite. Further, it saith not that uh, this baptism occurred in her early life uh, so it is most likely that this baptism only took place because it was prerequisite to marriage with Emmanuel Beaugrand de Champagne. And there was much of that. If we were, say, to talk of Montes de Maris, we would encounter a man who traveled all across Canada from Quebec baptizing Indians, and he's buried in the chapel in the, in the, in the church not far from here. French Canadian chart from the look of things. The name it all focuses on is Richard Moret Lapine. He by married twice, firstly to Marie Madeleine Cloutier, the daughter of Marie Elizabeth LeBanc and Rene Cloutier. And second marriage was to Marie Angelique Guillon, the daughter of Louise Racine and Simon Guillon. That would be a first French family name. But so would Cloutier. The parents of Richard Moret Lapine are said to be Jacques Moret Lapine, the son of Richard Moret Lapine or Dit Lapine and Jean Cotty, Richard Moret Dit Lapine, the son of Medard Moret Dit Lapine and Colonel. And again we encounter one of those invented names I told you that the genealogists of old would add to a chart to give definition to a person or add character to someone whom was suggested to have existed. So Colino is both a real and an imagined person. Jacques Moret de Le Pen was married to Marie Paget, the sister of Suzanne Page de Quercy the wife of Martin Cote. So that will be an interesting chart if and when we find it. The daughter of Richard Moret Le Pen, and I know not which of his wives bear she into this life, whether it be Marie Angelique Guillon or Marie Madeleine Cloutier. In any event, Marguerite Moret was married to Jean Charon Dit Ducharme. And 
and at one time she had been married to Antoine Hood. It seems to be that the daughter of Jean Chiron did Ducharme and Marguerite Moret B. Marie Judith Chiron did Ducharme, the wife of Joseph Boucher, whose son, Louis Etienne Boucher, had married Wasagi Ajig, a Montague Chippewa woman. And these two folk were the mother and father of Marguerite Boucher, wife of Jean-Baptiste Riel de l'Irlande, the ancestor of Louis Riel, Saint Louis David Riel des Métis. Um, one of the things I like sharing these charts with you for is to show how closely related we are to our ancestral heroes and heroines where uh, when you look into the stories of these great personages limiting them as such to certain events or specific dates in time limits them and merits us not any in, in any great in, in any anything because the stories of the individuals are nothing compared to the individuals as family members in a greater community not just of individual heroes and heroines but of a history, a familial history of our champions, whether they be male or female. Our fathers and our mothers, so to speak, our sisters and our brothers, our daughters and our uh, sons, our nephews and our nieces. Another quick peek at the uh, Vandal line, whereof um, the mother of Mathilde Maud Vandal de Grange be Alphonsine Henry. Um, her being the daughter of Agatha Latendra de Patoche, the daughter of Joseph and Chris. Her sister, Veronique Henry, was the wife of Thomas Frobisher, brother of Scholastic Frobisher, the wife of Pierre Van Delphi, and later the wife of Antoine Van Delphi, whom was the father of Mathilde Maud Van Del de Grange. the granddaughter of Antoine de Matches van de Hel, the martyr hero of the Battle of Batoche. The younger brother of Pierre Vandal, who was the father of Pierre Vandal, the first husband of Scholastic Frobisher. Again, we see how closely related. Do you know why? It's because back then, there was a lot of distance between households so you didn't get to meet a whole lot of people close to home and there weren't a whole lot of traveling far from home because there weren't much anywhere to go for any reason outside of voyageuring or exploring or buffalo hunting
there's a, a, a look at the Frobisher line, how it originates in John Frobisher back in 1455 in England. Um, mention of Julia Calcutt Kitson, the Irish woman whom was the wife of Alexander Henry the Elder, the great Canadian adventurer, the father of William Henry, the husband of Agatha Latendra de Batoche, the daughter of Joseph Chris and Jean Baptiste Latendra de Batoche, called Okimowa Askewikinam, the son of Jean Baptiste Latendra, the son of Jean Baptiste Latendra. And outside of that, um, there are a few other names that will appear in other charts, so we'll just toodaloo and tattle on. This would be Angus McGillis, born 1774, Glengarry County, Ontario. Married Marguerite Nottnacab and Ventaboot, 1805. Their daughter, Marie Marguerite McGillis, born 1805 to 1810, circa. Her died before 1850, April 30th, at St. Francois Xavier, the Red River Settlement, being buried 1856, April 30th, St. Francois Xavier. So there's probably two different um, records being kept there. Now, records were kept by churches and Sometimes records were lost, especially due to fire, but not always. So we should be grateful for what records we have of our people. There are not a whole hell of a lot of other people in the world who have the same ancestral heritage recorded as we do. Great personages all throughout history uh, are not as apt to have occasion to trace their heritage and ancestors back uh, much more than several generations, whereas I, for example, through our first French family and Acadian relations have traced my name back 146 generations on to Adam, son of God. Me being a true prince, I reckon, of the true tribe of Judah through Zara of the Scarlet Thread twin of Pharez, ancestor of Shepherd King David of Israel and Christ Jesus. Our Merovingian heritage traced uh, back uh, through different lines, not just the Trojan lineage, but a Romanic Celtic heritage as well. For indeed, um, our ancestors were those Judahites, you might say, involved in the Cornwall tin trade, whereof we find the legends of Arthur, king of the Britons, rooted 
and I know the secret of Excalibur. Perhaps I will share that with someone sometime. I have told others of it, but no one seems to understand plain English. Back to this. Simple chart. Um, we see here that Cuthbert Grant, the son of Cuthbert Grant and Marie Marguerite McGillis, the daughter of Marguerite not in a cabin vent to boot, married a, a, a woman named Marie Marie Gingras, the daughter of Scholastic Trottier and Antoine Gingras and their daughter B. Marguerite Grant born about 1862. So just a simple chart to look at. Not much to say of it. Now I remember doing this. I was exploring I'm a great fan of Barb Halle, the young Quebecois girl. I don't know offhand if she be a Fidel Roy, but she should be if not. Um, as her having been a victim involved in one of the first witchcraft trials in North America um, about 20 years before the Salem witch trials uh, further south in America. She be not the witch. The witch be Daniel Voile or Veal. I don't like to talk to him much outside of sharing his story. And he was um, a huge you know. So they were on the same boat the parents of uh, Barb Halle and uh, the Susan of Daniel Ville. Of course, he lusted for her, and his lust remained with him after they had landed, and the Halle family were settled, no doubt, somewhat uh, more in the wilderness than less in a community, and less in a township, and uh, uh, somewhat alone thereof. And he no doubt, uh, for it was said of him that he caused books to fly across the room, so the book of the Bible, no doubt. And he probably threw it in frustration, not being able to uh, convince the family to secure a marriage proposal with her. Uh, him, as most of the men whom uh, were employed, say, in uh, simple tasks, say, of soldiering or guarding uh, the community and whatnot, had relations with Indians as well, for he would trade alcohol. And it is because of this alcohol trade, more than his witchcraft, for both religious authorities and municipal authorities, um, I forget exactly whom they were at this time, were in disagreement as to whether it should be an ecclesiastical or a military trial, a civil trial, where with Daniel Ville or Voyle was to face justice. In the end, it was a civic military trial, and I do believe him be one of the first men to die, uh, Arquebus Firing Squad in Canada. Here, Canada was Canada. So, Miss Halle, uh, Mary Jean Carrier, their son Charles Carrier, was the father of Charles Carrier, the father of Charles Joseph Carrier, the father of Joseph Carrier, the father of André Carrier, whom took for wife Angelique Leon de Guillaume Dion, daughter of a Cree woman and Thomas Dion, of unknown origins. Their son was Moise Carrier, 
who married Joseph at Beaugrand de Champagne, the daughter of Marguerite Laroc, a Blackfoot woman, or a woman of the Blackfoot Confederacy, and her husband Emmanuel Beaugrand de Champagne. And these are my ancestors. Moreover, if we follow the ancestors of Emmanuel Beaugrand de Champagne aback, um, we find that he is descended of Marianne Langlois and Francois Neville de Duchesne. Or de Chene. Francois Meville, de Duchesne, and Marianne Langlois, whom were um, first French family stock, of which here we see the uh, Marie Corchon and Jean Baptiste Turand family were also descended of uh, Marguerite Langlois of that same stock. Hence, we find that most, if not all, of the Mercutus folk are related to, if not the first French family, then uh, secondary and territory families thereof. But in any event, we all have a much older and dearer relationship with the dirt. Here be another Quebecois chart. Again, we find the Halle name. Um, we see here that um, the sister of Barb Halle, the daughter of Mathurin Vallée and Jean Baptiste Halle, was Marie Halle, the wife of Joachim Girard. The Girard name is an important name. I had made one very large chart at one time that showed but for the act of one marriage I could be known as Girard rather than Bouchard. Isn't that curious? It says here, Joachim Girard worked for Jean Jobin as a tailor having arrived in 1651 on an unknown ship. It also says here, okay, John Jobin arrived in 1651 as a tailor, but uh, Joachim Girard arrived in 1658 on an unknown ship. Uh, with him, I reckon, came his brother Antoine Girard, both the sons of Michel Girard and Francois Ansoum. Now, we won't get much more into the Girard name here. Of note, we see that the mother of Marie Halle and Barb Halle, Mathurin Valle, the wife of Jean Baptiste Halle, um, came to New France in 1660 09 27, Notre Dame de Quebec, but returned from Chart to Chartres. In 1658, eight years later, 
uh, where our Jean Baptiste engaged and arrived in New France in 1655. The story. Um, every little brick gets added to the wall. What stood out to me when I grabbed this page was Amy Meville, the daughter of Charlotte Mauger, Ulle Mauges, Dit Monges, and Pierre Meville, Dit Le Suisse, of Switzerland, is that she was a child bride, aged 17, when she married Robert Giguier, son of Jean Giguier, Dit Le Jeune, and Michelle Journal, daughter of Jean Journal, a laborer. And we haven't talked much about the phenomenon of the child bride as of yet, so there is an introduction to that theme, and we will deal with it accordingly. Um, I may put off talking more in depth on it until we encounter the wife of Samuel de Champlain um, or the first French family because the youngness of these child brides then in their marriages to sometimes much older men involved nothing in the way of lust rather in some cases it was a matter of life and death, the preservation of uh, not the community, not the family, but of the person or the persons. Um, because of these young child brides whom I have visions them on their knees in the snow, tears froze into their face, scratching a grave for our unborn ancestors 14 generations ago, 13 generations ago with wolves howling in the dark of the night the newcomers will take these phenomenal people whom mothered us as a nation and as they did with the Couliard family that welcomed and adopted young Oliver Lejeune now they are called slave owners because of that um, we will deal with that story in its turn too Outside of saying that, we have an introduction here to Louis Tremblay, whom was involved in four serial marriages, of which I am related directly to by three of those women. Yet there is not much said more of him there. The Perron name and the Morel name stand out here on this side as well as other first French family names. But again, there's not much more to be said of it at this moment.
this page um, is an exciting page to me whereupon we see the name of Marie Louise Cato Couto born 1684 Quebec died 1735 Quebec uh, 24 December age 53 having first married Antoine Beaugrand de Champagne born 1700 Quebec died 1781 Quebec and secondly she was the wife to Jean-Baptiste Riel de Lirlanda born 1663 in Ireland died 1753 Quebec him the son of Jean-Baptiste Riel um, whom may be stoth fought against uh, the Stuart pretenders uh, believed that would be the um, glorious revolution I'm not sure um, uh, Carrigan Salier of Berthier Company whom married Louise La Fontaine in Limerick, Ireland uh, before coming to Canada together the father of Jean Baptiste Riel did really of the Carrigan Salier Berthier Company, who maybe fought against the Stuart pretenders, was uh, Jack Riley. Oh no, it says here that Jean Baptiste Riel, aka Jack Riley, and he is mentioned here in accordance to the flight of the wild geese as an Irish Jacobite soldier in France. So I'm going to put this page aside because that's exciting and I'll want to look at that again. This family was born in Switzerland, the patriarch being Martin Ermatinger, the father of Ludwig Ermatinger, whom took to wife Ursula Schultz, who mothered Daniel Ermatinger, whom took to wife Marguerite Friedrich of Switzerland who mothered Joshua Ermatinger, whom took to wife Anna Buggen, who mothered Jasobia Ermatinger, whom took to wife Anna Haasen, who mothered Lawrence Ermatinger, whom took to wife Anna Sigarest, the daughter of Barbara Ermatinger, the daughter of Elizabetha Spawn, the wife of Hans Jacob Ermatinger, the son of Rudolf Ermatinger of Switzerland and his wife Barbara Enderland. Johannes Conrad Sigarest of Switzerland, the husband of Barbara Ermatinger, him father of Anna Sigarest, the wife of Lawrence Ermatinger, is the maternal grandfather of Lawrence Ermatinger, a descendant paternally of Martin Ermatinger of Switzerland, whom took to wife Anna Maria Boll of Switzerland, 
parenting them into this world, Lawrence Edwin, Lawrence Edward Ermattinger, a Swiss merchant in Montreal and a commissary officer in the British Army, an original trader in the Northwest Company, whom took to wife Jemima Oakes of Montreal, whose mother was a woman of the Fox, Mesquake tribe, and the sister of Jemima, the brother of Jemima Oaks, was Forrest Oaks, again a great fur trader. The important thing to take out of this is commissary officer for the British Army. Now, we mentioned earlier today Louis Joseph Papineau and his great gift onto our nation was him having aided another commissary officer of the British Army or the son thereof a commissary officer of the British Army whom was present with the British Army during the, ball, uh, the Battle of Quebec and the Fall of Quebec. And that person was sworn in under the tutelage of our ancestor, the Patriot Papineau, with his hand on not the Holy Bible, but the Torah, when he took his place in Canadian Parliament then. And since then, things have been different. We see here that two of the sons of Lawrence Edwin, Lawrence Edward Ermattinger, an original trader for the Northwest Company, are mentioned. Um, the older being Lawrence Edward Ermattinger assistant commissary general of the British Army and Queen's Council whom married Charlotte the daughter of Hugh Richardson him was the judge that sentenced Riel to be hung by the neck until dead and Charlotte was the widow of Arthur Dixon when Lawrence Ermatting, Edward Ermattinger took her for a wife. Circled here it saith that uh, John Medicamus Forrest Oaks married a woman by the name of Elizabeth Brown. So I don't know uh, what y'all think of that chart. I had a lot of fun reading it for you. Um, I just noticed here that the wife of Charles Oakes Ermattinger is a woman by the name of Manoway Charlotte Kalawabidi or Katawabidi, the daughter of Katawabidi, an Ojibwa chief. Hence, we find the royalty of the First Nations thoroughly mixed with um, the British military in the the newly conquered colony of Canada upper and lower and having uh, a political influence uh, it, even on to affecting a lowly man such as Riel. Bless his soul.
um, another quick look at uh, the Latendra family. We see at the top of this chart two siblings, Pierre Latendra and Genevieve Latendra, the children of Pierre Latendra and Catherine Moran of France, of unknown origins, of which not much is known. We see here that Genevieve Latendra was first married to Francois Peltier and later married to Etienne Volant Radisson. Now that is an exciting combination. Radisson, of course, being involved with the family of, uh, uh, if not he, the great explorer that founded the Hudson's Bay Company in collaboration with Medard Schuart as Grosselier. Pierre Latendra married Marie Catherine Lamy. Their elder son was Jean Baptiste Latendra Pere, who married Marie Jean Hustet Paul, and mother for he, Jean Baptiste Latendra Fee, the husband of Marie Madeleine Loiseau de Cardin, the mother of Northwest Company. Okima Waska Wickenam, Jean Baptiste Latendra Dipal, husband of Joseph at Chris, a Cree woman, the parents of Louis and Latendra Dipatosh, and Marie Julie Halle. An entirely different kind of royalty, I would say. We further see here that the sister of Louise Latendra, or the Louise Latendra, the sister of Jean Baptiste Latendra Pere, the children of Marie Catherine Lame and Pierre Latendra, her married Michel Peltier de Tantea. And I have no doubt that that Michel Peltier de Tantea and Francois Peltier, the husband of Genevieve Latendra, the, they had no children, I think, uh, but they were no doubt related. The children of Louis and Latendra de Patoche and Marie Julie Halle are here listed as Marie Latendra, the wife of Emmanuel Beaugrand de Champagne, whom are the grandmother and grandfather of the Belle of Patoche Marie Antoinette, stolen during the uh, sacking of Batoche and uh, the French settlement thereof after the fall of Batoche, 1885. The sister of Marie Le Tender is, the brother of Marie Le Tender is Francois Xavier Le Tender of Dipatoche, the husband of Marie Marguerite Parenteau, star, and the sister be Agatha Le Tender, the wife of William Ellery Henry, star, related to me, and it says here ends my connection to the Le Tender family. Or begins, if you would. Uh, let's say we go one more. This be the last one. I'm tired. Uh, Acadia be mentioned on this page. The page is... Um, strongly representative of the Landry family name. It begins with René Lejeune Landry and his wife Marie Bernard, mother and father of Antoine Landry, who married Marie Thibodeau. The parents there of Jean-Baptiste did Jean Landry who married Madeline Melanson, an Acadian woman, the daughter of Catherine Marie Dugas and Philippe Charles Melanson. 
Catherine Madrid Grucas, being the daughter of Marie Francois Bourgeois and Claude Dugas I. When we talk of the Acadian family, you'll understand. They're even more strongly interrelated together, being collected together more in that short time period where of our family rooted there here they were uprooted from their home and scattered abroad uh, to uh, Louisiana and Europe and uh, elsewhere throughout Quebec which was a pretty big place then stretching as far south as the Gulf of Mexico and uh, far into the interior. So the children talked of here being the children of Nicholas Landry and Marguerite Terrell de Jollicoeur, or Angelique Landry, first married to Martin Jerome, next married to Isidore I. Capau Dumont, her sister Anathasia Laundrie was married to Andre Nault. Andre Nault's brother Romain Nault was married to their sister Philomene Landry. And again, a brother Boniface Nault married to another sister, Christine Landry. Hence, we see three Nault boys married to three Landry daughters. All the Nault boys being the sons of Amable Nault and Marie Josette Lajmaji. We find also on this chart Adelaide Landry, the wife of Thomas Stanislaus Landry, the parents of Napoleon Joseph Landry, my great grandpa, and Pierre Eli Landry, the husband of Genevieve Bruno, the sister of Thomas Stanislaus Bruno, the children of Honorable Francois Jacques Bruno and Marguerite Harrison. Marguerite Harrison, the sister of Marie Harrison, the wife of Jean-Baptiste Lachemagier. Although I see no more mention here thereof. Um, as said, may be very tired. We had fun. This uh, flight of the wild geese is something maybe I'll talk more about when we begin our next storylines together. Eh? God bless you all. Much love.